بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الأمين أما بعد All praise and thanks due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam اليوم نتحدث عن هدي النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم في العقيقة وهديه صلى الله عليه وسلم في الأسماء Tonight our discussion is going to be about the guidance of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم in things that relate to a newborn child giving him a name what are the sacrifice that we can offer on behalf of them in Tirmidhi it was reported that Umm Kurs قال قال صلى الله عليه وسلم عن الغلام شاتان متكافئتان وعن الجارية شات when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you with a son a child it is a joyful moment and that moment we have to be grateful and thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَلَئِنْ شَكَرْتُمْ لَأَزِيدَنَّكُمْ if we be grateful and thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah will increase the blessing that Allah has given us multiply these blessings and we know among the mata and the leather and the shahwa of this hayat is al-bani الأولاد زين للناس حب الشهوات من النساء والبن. so basically it is an entertainment to have a kid with you to have a son a daughter. it is a ni'ma it is a blessings of Allah سبحانه وتعالى. so in the hadith of Tirmidhi in the book of Tirmidhi, a Sahabiya narrated to Ummu Kurs she said that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said أن الغلام شاتان a boy a newborn child if he is a boy sacrifice on his behalf to شات to شاتان يعني شاتان متكافئتان يعني معناه متساويتان في العمر وفي خلق وفي القوة والمتانة Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said a boy we should give a sacrifice on his behalf by slaughtering a two lamb sheep on his as a his uh, sacrifice and wa'anil jariya and for a daughter a girl shat we should slaughter shat a sheep and ulama these days people will say but why two for men and two or one for a girl, a woman. It is important to know that in this deen, Al Islam Yuray Jami al Awa. Because a boy you can buy one shirt, two shirt or three for him, that will take him long time. But for a girl, you have to buy more for her. And for that, it is the sunnah of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that we should make aqiqah. In these days, we will say naming ceremony or baby shower. All these are names that will apply to appear in the, uh, on our minds. It is a sunnah that we should first give this sacrifice. On their behalf. And also, in another hadith, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentions that فَأَهْرِقُوا عَنْهُ الْأَلَى Which means, his hair, the hairs on the newborn baby should be shaved and then wait in silver and give as a sacrifice. So we have two things now. أول شيء تُذْبَحْ عَنْهُ يعني عن الولد شاتان متكافئتان وعن الجارية شات that's one يعني we will give that sacrifice to that baby 
Secondly, in another hadith, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that فَأَهْرِقُوا عَنْهُ الْأَذَى We should remove the hair on his hair. And when can this happen? The Sunnah of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam varies based on a hadith that فِي يَوْمِ السَّابِعِ On the seventh day of his birth, we will give his sacrifice and remove those new hairs from on, uh, his hair and make it sadaqa. But if you don't have, يعني تستطيع and to أجل You can get it whenever you get it on the 14 days of his birth. 21st day, you can give the صلاقة. This is the However, there is another hadith that Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that a companion brought his son to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he was given birth, when he was being brought to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he sammahu fil hab. Sammahu fil hab. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam granted his name on the spot. So can we do that? Yes, it is permissible because Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did it. And then one of the most important things that we have to know about this is that Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said this animal when it is slaughtered the meat is being distributed يقسم على الناس الفقراء ويؤكل منه you will eat some and distribute the balance among the poor, the needies, and the neighbors. ولكن لا يكسر منها عظم. You cannot break any bones of that animal. The bones should not be broken. That's the Sunnah of Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Because Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam in a hadith, he mentions, and uh, this hadith was reported by. Uh, uh, Ja'fa bin Muhammad and Abi and the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qala fi aqiqat al-hasan wa al-husayn an yub'athu ila bayt al-qabila birij wa kulu wa at'imu wa la tuksiru minha azma they should eat from the meat the fisher animal they should eat from it but they should not broke the bones al-adham should not be Broken. It is the Sunnah of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And what used to happen in the Asr al Jahiliyyah, what can we do? This is the story of the Sahabi. He said, We were in the Jahiliyyah, and we were in the Jahiliyyah, and we were in the Jahiliyyah, and we were in the Jahiliyyah. فلما جاء الإسلام كنا نذبح يعني الشاة ونحلق رأسه ونلطخ يعني ونلطخ رأسه بزعفرة ما هو الخلاف هنا في عصر الجاهلية during the time of جاهلية the era of ignorance the people they will slaughter a sheep if they have a boy and then the blood of that animal will be put on the head of the baby. When Islam comes, it becomes haram to do that because it is a practice of al-jahiliyyah, the error of al-jahiliyyah. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in fact emphasized on it in the hadith of Yazid ibn al-Mudani. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, يُعَقْ عَنِ الْغُلَامِ وَلَا يَمُسُّ رَأْسُهُ بِدَمْ you will make the aqiqa and then you will not rub any of the blood on his head as the people of Jahiliyyah used to do. So there is a sunnah of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for a newborn kid. It is upon us. Wajib ala al-aba ay yattabi'u sunnah to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fi mithli hadith ashiyah. But the most important things here these days is that when there's a uh, ceremony as, as shas, what happens? 
يعني علينا أن نمل مثل هذه المجالس بالذكر والشكر والإطعام الأكل والشرب وخلاف ذلك الواقع الحاضر في واقعنا الحاضر ماذا يصنع؟ People will spend all the times dancing, singing, doing things that are against the sunnah of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And finally in this bab, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to emphasize on giving the baby a good name. Ismun Hassan. Ismun, Ismun Mubarak. Ismun Jameel. Laish? لأنه فيه ارتباط بين الاسم والمعنى. A man came to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and said that his name is حرب. War. النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم changed it. That your name is not حرب anymore. From this moment, your name is peace. Another person came that he came and his name was Murrah, bitter. Yeah, bitter, yeah, something that is bitter. So Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam changed the name because the meaning is not, is not optimistic. And in fact, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam fi sulh al-Hudaybiyya al-Kuffar lama ibtaghu suhay كما بعث لهم إلى النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وصحابه لما شاف لما رأى سهيل قال سهل أمركم يعني تفاؤل تفاءل بالاسم النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم the kufar during صلح الحديبية when he saw سهيل who was the delegate of the kufar to the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and the people of and the صحابة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم said his name is سهيل and all your things, all your uh, issues, affairs is going to be easy because his name, Suhail. Tafa'ala bil ism. So Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will not only give a good name to a kid or a people, but even an old man or adult appear in front of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with a bad name, he will change it on the spot and grant him, give him a good name. And he will show to the companions that good names have effect on the kid. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in fact encouraged us to name our kids after the Anbiya. Sammu awladakum bi asma'il Anbiya. Why? 